Hi! We are presenting a series of videos talking about centrifugal pumps and their electric motors. Here is a centrifugal pump and its electric motor. Centrifugal pumps are among the most used equipment in the industry. In fact, perhaps they only lose the first place to the electric motors. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Marcos. I am a retired professor of hydraulics. Now, I am a consultant engineer of many companies that deal with hydraulics applied to sanitation works. Here is a typical chart containing the characteristic curves of a pump. Usually, these charts present the head versus flow curves for the maximum and minimum impeller diameters that this pump can contain. In another video, we saw how to obtain the head versus flow curves of an intermediary impeller. Also, in another video, we saw how to obtain the power curves demanded by the pump. Today, we will focus on the efficiency curves. How can we find them? Let's consider this particle. Its mass is m, and its specific weight is gamma. We will move it to another position, higher than it was before. The vertical distance between its final and initial positions is h. If you want to do it in a place where g is the gravitational acceleration, we must perform a work equal to mgh. But mgh is the weight of the particle, which is also equal to gamma v. Thus, the work will be equal to gamma vh. We define power as the work performed during a time t. But the volume divided by the time is the flow q. So the power will be equal to gamma qh. Of course, the power that we'll find using this expression will be the theoretical power. To find the real power, we must know the efficiency of the machine that will perform the work. It is a number smaller than 1. Note that it divides the theoretical power, so the real power will be greater than the theoretical power. This will be the power that we must supply to the axis of the pump. It is known as the brake horsepower, or in short, the BHP. To find its value, we must perform some laboratory tests. Observe this pump connected to an electric motor. The pump is fixed to a base. The electric motor is not, it remains attached to the system, fixed by two supports containing bearings. Thus, it could potentially rotate freely around its axis. But this won't happen, because we have fixed an arm to its frame, which presses a dynamometer. The force measured by this equipment times the arm length gives the torque. From physics we know that torque times angular velocity is equal to the real power. Let's run an example. Hydraulic tests of a pump generated the following data. Find the power curves corresponding to these values. Here are the transformations and calculations that we must do to find the brake horsepower for each flow and impeller. They are detailed in the video concerning how to find the power curves. Here are the flows and powers. In our testing equipment, we have a manometer, so we can measure the head for each flow. Here are the values for the 350 mm impeller, and here are the values for the 300 mm impeller. Now, the theoretical power can be obtained through the formula Pt equals to gamma qh. Here are the values for the 350 mm impeller, and here are the values for the 300 mm impeller. The efficiency will be the ratio between the theoretical power and the real power. Here are the values for the 350 mm impeller, and here are the values for the 300 mm impeller. We fill the graph with the values of power that we have found. Here is an example for the 350 mm impeller and another one. We do the same for the 300 mm impeller. Here is an example and another one. Now we just trace the ISO efficiency curve. It requires some practice, but here is the first one for 70%, another one for 60%, and this one for 50%. And here are the curves that we wanted. We still must talk about how to obtain the curve for the required net positive suction head, in short, NPSHR. But this is a topic for another video. So, this is what we got for today. 
Oh, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, comment, share and subscribe. Hit the bell so you can be notified of my next videos.